guys doing a uh, programming today of the Kenwood TM281A. I'm using the exact same programming cable that I use to do all my uh, commercial radio programming such as the TK880 Where's your two? Where are you? Mobile? Portable? I don't know. Anyway, the TK280, that's right there. As well as the 760 to 762G Oh, here she be. And the uh, Kenwood uh, 270G. The exact same programming cable that I'm using to program the Kenwood TM281. Uh, so far, I've got a couple channels added to it. It'll be a layer 5.2 just to try it. But uh, one thing you notice when you program the radio, uh, something that the uh, commercial radios does but this one don't is when you're reading from this radio or programming to it uh, you don't get any indication as such either on the display or any LED on front of the radio so without looking at the at the computer you really don't know if you're you really don't know if you're programming this radio or not there's no way to actually tell but uh, the only way you can tell obviously is with the software and the software you have to use is the MCP-1A for the TM271 slash 281A it's an updated version of the software that uh, has the 281 software or that 281 radio on it so anyways I'll be back one second I'll show you how to set this thing up I've set it up so well but program it very very simple to work with and uh, in case you're wondering, the operating system is Windows 7. So the uh, the programming cable will work, and the program will work with Windows 7. So, put your memory channel in there. Right there, where you want to call it, which in this case, if you want to hear it. Do you repeater. Click OK. Then it comes up on the screen here. Out the frequency. But you had to tell it that it's a minus offset, which is our enemy for 600 kilohertz. And then you go to program, with this one here, right. Then you go over here to the radio, and you'll notice nothing changes. So we'll just bring this up. You see the bar? Uh, but you don't see anything here in front of the radio that's uh, changing. So you don't actually know <laughs> you're programming the radio itself without the program. So now if you go back here, put in memory. ARG. Just like that. Very easy to program the radio. So we'll continue on putting a few more channels in here. And uh, again, the software is MCP 1A for the TM 271 281A 1. That's the software you need for the, for this set. Uh, just program this radio. Okay, I've got the radio programmed. Lots of, lots of goodies under. And, uh... Something like 40 some odd channels. What do I got there? Yeah, 40 channels. And, uh... One thing I'll also bring up about this radio. Although, I should say the TK7360. Uh, I know it suffers from a from a programming problem, not really a programming problem, but an issue you can run into. <laughs> um, I don't know if this one is like that or not, but uh, the problem I've had with the Kenwood 7360, when you're programming a radio and you've got your programming cable connected, especially if you're using the COM port, um, when you've got your radio on, your program, and are just sitting there, if your cable comes loose from the COM port, or comes clear of your jack while well, your cable connected between your computer and the radio you actually blow the fuse on the internal of the radio, there's a little 4 amp fuse on the, on the board a little SMT fuse, 4 amp 
and the 7360s are very sensitive to the uh, programming cable if it moves at all so uh, so the workaround I've come across for that obviously it should be normal anyway to so always turn off your radio and everything else and disconnect power from it before you unplug your uh, programming cable but uh, yeah so that's the, what I had to do I always after I'm finished with it I always had to turn off the radio then I come over here and I shut down the program and optional you can put the cut the computer to sleep if you really wanted to but uh, and then you could safely remove the jack or the cable from the radio and if you never hurt the radio you can turn her back on and she'll power up as normal we go. So, anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, the next uh, radio we've got coming up or coming down to play here shortly is the ICOM IC736 HF radio. Problem with tuner or something, and that is not tuning properly or something. But I never worked on the radio before, and uh, well, I guess I'm gonna get a crash course on it. If I can figure it out, I'll figure it out. If I can't, I won't bother with it. But the uh, ICOM 736, or 37 router, is next coming down the list. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll chat later.